I remember uh, years ago a friend of mine that did a lot of trout fishing and steelhead fishing in Chagrin Grand River up around there, he lives in Mentor, told me the easiest way to cure eggs is uh, with just salt, regular table salt and brown sugar. Um, this is I tried the method and set up with boric acid. Um, you can see here they turn out just fine. They thaw real fast in the refrigerator to refrigerator thaw them, and uh, things look like fruit snacks. I got different sizes. There are a lot of larger ones because the river's been muddy lately. Uh, turn out great. Uh, this video is going to show you. Um, exactly how I did it. Nice hen steelhead out here at the Rocky River. I got this uh, nice hen steelhead from the Rocky River today. We're going to cure the eggs. Uh, in Ohio it's illegal to gut a fish within so many feet of a body of water um, or flame. So I brought the water here. We're going to uh, stream stream cure the eggs first. We're going to come in here, cut it right open and take the eggs right out. Gutter. Okay. You can see there's the eggs. Uh, the way to field dress a fish. Got it. Uh, you'll need a knife to cut this off, I guess. Pack it in ice. It'll even stay good for uh, until tomorrow. Um, I'm going to fillet it tonight. Now I'm going to cut this open and open it up so all the eggs can, without cutting underneath the skin or the membrane part, I'm going to butterfly it open like this. Are those all eggs? Those are all eggs. Now it's time to get the, the blood out of the veins here. And push the blood back up into the main. It's easy to do, see? Because that'll end up spoiling it. So see how the blood's going right back up to that main vein? Uh-huh. And then I'll push it right out of the main vein you now to keep it from spoiling. The blood will get rancid. Now it's all out. So just put it back in there for a minute into the stream water, not city water or well water, it's from the river. We'll do it with this one, the same thing. Get all the blood out. today. Make them for tomorrow. I'll save those for fresh spawn sacks. The rest I'll cure up. I almost forgot. Add and salt. That stream water also harden them up a little bit. And the female doesn't, the, the male have a big hook here. And the female doesn't. That's how you can tell the two apart. So what I'll do is uh, take those those for later. I'll tie some spawn sacks. I actually get to use that spawn sack for something other than chicken livers. Yeah. Usually we use them for chicken livers. Wow. That's really disgusting. Huh? <laughs> So I'm going to let sit maybe two, three hours and then freeze them. Okay, they're still drying. It's been about an hour. They're starting to get sticky, so they're drying a little bit. Okay, I just turned them over. 
the eggs. They're doing pretty good. Uh, usually people put them in Tupperware. I don't have any small Tupperware. I don't want to take up my whole freezer. So I'm just going to put them in Ziploc bags and freeze them when they're done. Uh, then you thaw these in the refrigerator uh, or else they'll, they'll pop. Uh, thaw them in the refrigerator and then you're uh, ready to tie your next batch. Make that one a little bit bigger than the other one. These are trout eggs so they're small. Yeah, so that'll make a nice little snack. Horrible dexterity. Oh yeah. Yeah. Those stay on the hook pretty good too, huh? Yeah, you 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 hook you can hook them right like that. Really? They smell good too. There we go. Look at Mark Cox. <laughs> <laughs>